What's up you guys? So it is finally 2016. I want to wish all of you a happy new year and hopefully all your resolutions, dreams, and accomplishments you set out to achieve this year, they come true and if not more. So I wanted to share um, a, another purchase I made recently and um, it's actually a very, very functional purchase so I'm very, very excited to share it with you guys today. And um, I think, you know, I could finally say my bag collection for the staples that I have are complete. I have a document holder that holds a laptop and files and little things when I want to get around town really quickly. I have a larger carry-on that fits everything beautifully. I have a tote size bag and now I have a messenger bag. But I did pick up something recently from Christian Louboutin. Um, it usually comes with a box, but they were out of boxes, which is all right. As long as I got the dust bag, I was okay with it. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So I do have the receipt, which when you get the Christian Louboutin receipts, they have like the red emblem uh, foot logo right there. Love your red soles, but I did not buy a shoe in this case. So let's take it out of the dust bag. So here on the dust bag, you have the Christian Louboutin logo right here, um, right there. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. So I recently picked up the Christian Louboutin Alyosha messenger bag. Um, I absolutely love it. It does come with a strap like shown right here. Again, I will be including a video shot of me wearing this so you know exactly how this looks. Um, so this is the bag right here. It does come with a really, really beautiful zip on it, very large zip. Reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford, I believe it's called the Tom Ford Buckley bag, you know, very large zip, very, very smooth zip. Um, you also have the Christian Louboutin foot emblem with the red sole right here. Um, it's like a gunmetal hardware belt loop right here because these straps can actually come off and you can kind of use this as a oversized document holder. So another thing to include is that the back of the bag right here does have a pocket opening with red in the inside. It's absolutely stunning. And it closes magnetically, so it does shut magnetically, which is very good. Nice. The, the pocket in the front right here is also red lined in the inside. So I'm just gonna show you how smooth the zip is. So effortless, so nice. I'm gonna take out the stuffing of the bag really quickly. And then you have the inside of the bag right here. So as you can see right here, it does have a pocket with the Christian Louboutin emblem, which is like, an enamel um, material right here and you do have the of course product information on the inside there's a tab in there and this bag is made in Italy with style numbers and things like that so this is a Italian made bag um, the leather on this is insane you could probably see the texture of the leather let me flatten out the bag you can probably see the texture of the leather right here um, it is kind of like that I don't know Celine when I go to Celine they call this like an elephant drum leather it's not really elephant so don't worry but um, you know just that pebbled slightly grain leather it doesn't feel stiff like the Saint Laurent um, grain leather or even like a Safiano leather it's very very smooth it feels like soft lambskin but it does have a texture to it um, which makes it very resistant to scratches from what I hear and of course on the bottom it does have feet which is very very nice so this is a really really functional bag because I am going out of the country or if you're watching this video I'm probably already out of the country and I really needed a functional bag that was really really low key I mean not branded whatsoever I mean yeah it does have a Louboutin logo right here but otherwise it's a very low key bag it's very plain um, but it's a nice messenger bag that if I could wear a full on suit and tie with it, it doesn't look too casual because I was gonna get a Christian Louboutin backpack or even a Yves Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent backpack, but backpacks are not really my style to begin with. And um, I think backpacks are a little bit too casual. Even though I still really want a backpack just to own, um, I don't see strong function with, strong function? Uh, strong use. <laughs> with that bag. Um, so this one's really, really functional. It fits my camera that I'm recording with and take photos with um, in here beautifully. I don't know if it could fit my MacBook. I think my MacBook might be, actually, I don't, I don't know. I have a 13 inch, it might be able to fit, but I know a tablet or an iPad for sure can fit in there, um, which is something I need to purchase very soon. I need to get an iPad. What iPad do you guys use? 
let me know in the comments down below. Um, I really need to get one for work. Um, but yeah, this is just a stunning thing. Out. This is entirely made of leather, so this is a all leather bag. There's no canvas in this whatsoever. Besides the inside, I, be I believe this is like a red canvas, but you know, Christian Louboutin bags, I really like them because they are very, very modern. They're I always say Christian Louboutin bags are like so 2016, and what I mean by that is his designs are so modern, they're so edgy meets professional, masculine, and kind of sexy. Basically everything I associate with his shoes for both men and women. So um, this is just a really, really nice bag. Um, I've also looked at other bags from, you know, the Louis Vuittons, the, the Gucci's, and um, I don't know, you know, for me, Louis Vuitton bags, I love travel bags from Louis Vuitton, but they're actual work bags and things like that, like, they just don't speak to me. Um, it's it's funny though because when I was in the Louis Vuitton store um, yesterday, um, I did see something that was actually monogrammed that I liked, which is really really rare because I do find the Louis Vuitton monogram to be very very tacky. Um, not tacky, but you know, I think in today's day and age, it depending how you wear it, it doesn't come off the best. Christian Louis Vuitton bags are stunning. I love the Fredo briefcase. I love. Um, you know, he does such amazing bags, and even his newer release bags for women, I think the Paloma, um, the new handbag, I mean, wow, that's such a, that's such a beautiful and well-made handbag, and the price, it is a very expensive handbag, but I think I would have expected the handbag to be even more money for how much leather and just fine, fine detail has gone into that bag. Um, so, basic, so basically what I'm trying to say is, you know, don't sleep on Christian Louboutin leather items or their um, wallets, their, things like that. And they rival, I would say, the quality of a Louis Vuitton or even, I'm going to say this, even Hermes. Um, I know he is going to be launching this bag again for spring, summer, I believe, this upcoming season, um, in new colors, browns, um, browns, lighter browns, things like that. So stay on the lookout for it. I do believe the European websites still list this bag and so does Asia. I'm not too sure about America. Any details about the bag that I could find, I will list it in the down bar below. So here we have the bag worn over the shoulder. And then crossbody. Ease of access with the pockets and the zips right here. And you can just get in and out of everything right here. Anyways, you guys, this wraps it up. I know I'm a mess. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the bag in the comments down below. Happy to say my bag collection is complete. Any bag after this point is just a lust over item, not something that's uber practical. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and as I always say, until next video, I'll see you guys then.